Welcome back to my channel, Latin Language, and we're going to discuss standard deviation and variance for group data. So, previous video natin, tinalaki natin yung ungroup data dun sa standard deviation and variance. Ngayon, group data naman. Now, let's see the formulas. So, ito yung gagamitin nating formulas. So, we're going to do it step by step, so don't worry. So, Let's have the first example. For 108 randomly selected Hogwarts students, the following IQ frequency distribution were obtained. So, ito yung table, ito mo si yung given. So, may una yung class limits at yung frequency. So, may kinin natin sa class limits, meron tayong 90 to 98. 99 to 107, and so on. At sa frequency naman, kung ilan yung bilang ng nakakuha ng ganong score. Okay, so 6, 22, 43, 28, and 9. So sa frequency, nakakulay green siya. So step by step natin siya gagawin. So let's go to step 1. Get the sum of the frequency. So, Add mo lang yan, yung 6 plus 22, plus mo ng 43, plus mo ng 28, plus mo ng 9. That will be 108. Next, you have to subtract 1 from the sum. Okay, tatabi lang muna natin yan. Mamaya natin siya gagamitin. So, tatabi lang natin. So, 108 minus mo ng 1, that will be 107. Next naman, we have to get the midpoint of the class limits, or yung average. So, dito, it's represented represented by x sub m. So, 90 plus mo ng 98, yung sagot niyan, divide natin ng 2. So, 90 plus 98 is 188. Divide mo ng 2, that will be 94. So, yung next is 99 plus 107, that will be 103. At yung mga susunod na sagot, that will be 112, 121, and 113. Mapapansin mo naman kung tama yung sagot mo, kung may pattern siya. So, nagdadagdag siya palagi ng 9. Ito yung pattern. Nagdadagdag ng 9. So, pinakuha mo na yung midpoint of the class limits. So, tato na yung column natin. Let's go to step 4. Kailangan naman daw natin i-multiply yung frequency na kukuli green dun sa midpoint. Dun sa x of m. So, 6 times 94. That will be 564. 22 times 1 ng 103. That will be 2,266. 43 naman, times 1 ng 112. That will be 4,816. At 28 times 1 ng 121. That will be 3,388. And last one, we have 9 times 1 ng 130. That will be 1,170. Okay. So another column ulit tayo. So that will be F times 1 ng X of M. Okay, so we need to get the sum nung pinag-multiply natin. So we add mo lang si 564 plus 1 and 2,266 plus another 4816 uh, 3, 3,388 and add mo lang 1,170 and you will get a sum of 12,204. Ngayon, makakainag natin si mean. Paano kunin yung mean? Yung sum kanina na pinag-add natin at 12,204 I-divide mo siya sa sum ng frequency, 108. Again, so 108 tayo, ah, hindi sa sum minus 1. So that will be 12,204. Divide mo ng 108. That will be 113. So yun yung mean natin. Okay, step 7. Make another row for the mean. So naglagay lang ako ng another row for the mean, 113. Yan lahat na nakapula. Next, step 8. Midpoint minus mean. So, x of m minus mo ng yung may bar sa taas na x. So, another column. So, that will be 94 minus 1 of 113. Yung blue minus mo sa red, that will be negative 19. At 103 minus mo ng 113 is negative 10. 112 minus 1 of 113, that will be negative 1. 121 minus 1 ng 113 will be 8. And 130 minus 1 ng 113, that will be 17. So another column again tayo. Okay, 
So, yung bagong column na yun, kukunin natin yung square niya. So, yung square ng negative 19, that will be 361. Negative 10, that will be 100. Negative 1, that will be 1. 8, that's 64. At 17, is 289. So, para mawala lang yung negative. Ngayon naman, we have to multiply yung in-square natin, nasagot, mumultiply natin sa frequency. So that will be 6 times more than 361. That will be 2,166. Next, 22 times more than 100. That is 2,200. 43 times more than 1 is 43. 28 times more than 64. That is 1,792. And 9 times more than 289. That will be 2,601. Okay, last one. Step 11. Get the sum of yung bagong column. So, 2,166 plus 1 and 2,200 plus another 43 plus 1,792 plus 2,601 and the final answer will be 8,802. Okay, step 12. Calculate the variance. So, paano natin kukunin yung variance? Remember, yung sum ng Bagong column, that's 8,802. Di divide natin siya dun sa sum minus 1. In a cup purple. So, that will be 107. So, hindi, siya, hindi natin siya i-divide sa 108. Di divide natin siya sa 107. So, that will be 82.26. Okay, so paano naman kunin yung standard deviation? So, diretso mo na sa calcul, yung sagot kanina dun sa variance, diretso mo agad, square it mo agad siya, and you will get 9.0698 something. So, I round up mo na lang siya. That will be 9.07. So, here are your final answer. So, variance na then will be 82.26. At yung sa standard deviation, that will be 9.07. Take note, pag kukunin mo yung sagot sa standard deviation, dapat derecho sa calq. So, that will be 8,802. Divide mo ng 107. Yung sagot niyan, mag ng e, Estimate or a round up or round down, kunin mo agad yung square root, and you will get an answer of 9.06 something. Doon mo lang, lang kayo mag round up. Okay? 9.07. And that's the end of the lesson on how to find the standard deviation and variance for group data. At kung may tanong kayo or a comment or an suggestions for another math and language video, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. Thank you and I'll see you again. Goodbye.